It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Arizona Cardinals on EA Sports. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Dallas Cowboys and the Arizona Cardinals. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. On the return, Rondell Moore will bring it out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a guy who's moved around a bit in his career already. Out of the University of Texas, it's Colt McCoy. This is a guy who has studied and learned the game since birth. The son of a coach, grew up in the game, understands how to motivate and how to maneuver the football downfield when given an opportunity under center. Now McCoy. And this one complete to Smith. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Here's McCoy. And his throw's going to be incomplete. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Throwing again, McCoy. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. 
Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And right side, they're going to go option here. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice gain. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. From the 44, McCoy. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. The last run got six. Now second and four. Operating from the gun, McCoy. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 nine, nine, nine route? 9 meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second and nine now from the 21. Prescott now. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And that's good for a gain of six. And this will wind up being a third and three. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing, Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. Finding room at midfield. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play.
So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the lot. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Prescott from the gun. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 33. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. So the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 12-yard line. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Prescott to throw it. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Prescott. And Cooks has it over the middle. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. Touchdown! Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. 
fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Off the play fake. McCoy. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. But they're certainly not giving much help to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously. Led to a very quick sack. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, You've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. After the sack on first down, Prescott, sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Call it a gain of six on the play, and third and eight now. They should have gotten more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. This one fielded at the five. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. 
And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you've thrown this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Prescott. And that's complete to Cooks. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now Prescott. Open man, right side, it's Lamb. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a second and one coming up. Now a give here to Pollard and the stop will come inside the five at the four. Give him two yards, that sets him up first and goal. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Play fake, here's Prescott. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. It'll go as a loss of eight and a tough result there on first and goal. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. They get five on the run, but it leaves them with a tough third and goal forthcoming. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, 
think about running the ball here, not even a thought, yeah, is it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Prescott on third and goal. Eluding the pressure right. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they had the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. They find some open field here. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the lot of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There was absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Looking to throw, McCoy. And this will be swung out here for counter. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first to throw on third down McCoy and it's going to be incomplete he was able to catch it there on the right sideline but out of bounds says the line judge and it's going to bring up fourth down I know this offense was expecting to do big things but it certainly hasn't turned out that way at least not through the first three drives they're definitely going to, have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield on is the punter Hawk as he gets this one away Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. 
always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. From the 30 on second down, Prescott. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Throwing to start the drive, McCoy. This is intercepted. So the pass interference call on the offense obviously declined, and this will remain a turnover. Pollard going to try the right side, and not much running room. Down to the 32. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. No doubt about it. Really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. That's going to be caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped it to one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. Pollard showing off the elusiveness as he's in. Touchdown. Well, uh, wherever he is on the field, he is certainly slippery with a football in his hands, and he proved it right there. And normally moves like that aren't supposed to work this deep in the red zone because there's not enough space. Normally way more effective when you're working out in the open field. But here, incredible shiftiness, excellent contact balance, and he works his way into the end zone.
The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. So that drive, four plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. Well, no, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. And you're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called a I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. McCoy's throw complete there to Smith. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The end result, 21 yards. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. On first and 10, McCoy, he'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They run behind center with Connor. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now McCoy. It's complete to Brown, right side. Down inside the 10, and all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A big play there on the catch and run, 33 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far, and never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Look at this, a tight end carry. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. Trey McBride taking it in from two yards out. And the Cards are able to cut into that deficit. Well, the big play prior to this one got him down there, and they're able to stick it in on the very next snap. And I think those last two plays, that's what you're talking about, balance, right? Big pass play, puts them in position, turn right around and hand it off, and you've got a running play that finishes it off in the end zone. 
Extra point good by Prater. And that cuts this lead down to 13. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Prescott looks to throw on first. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Here's a second and five now from the 25. To throw is Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Man coverage on the left side, so I really like the design of this play because they opened up the field and brought their tight end the other way on a crossing route. That's a lot of ground to cover if you're a defender. I've been there before, unable to stay with his man there. Run for Pollard. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Second and five. Prescott now from the 50. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. First and ten, Prescott. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. So second down, still ten yards to go. Ball on the 43. Prescott now. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 30. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So first and 10 now from the 30. 
Prescott yet again. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. That goes for a gain of 31. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field, pocket held up nicely, what a terrific job by the offensive line. The route, well run, and the football, right on the money. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. And again, it's Prescott. And he wisely will throw that one away. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. On the draw, it's Pollard. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Here's Prescott. And he's got him. Got his man on the end route. Complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Extra point attempt to follow here. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And Moore, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Well, the Cardinal offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Here's McCoy. Complete on the quick throw to Moore. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Operating from the gun, McCoy. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the cards are going to take over here up near the 40. 
So they're holding call on the offense. So they go ahead and decline that one and take possession of the football on the INT. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Prescott to throw it. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard, and he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Let's go, fellas. Second and two. Prescott. Over the middle complete. That's Ferguson. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And he's going to miss this one. That is no good. Well outside the left upright, and they will not be able to add on to their 20-point lead. I don't care who you are. 60 yards is a very ambitious attempt. Hard to make even in practice in the best of conditions. And now, worst of all, you have the other guys the ball to start their drive at midfield. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. A final shot before break. McCoy looking deep for his tight end, Ertz. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, Let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Cowboys. And it's been the passing game that's been the story. They have feasted on this secondary to the tune of 200-plus yards already through two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, they weren't quite as successful throwing the ball as their counterparts were, but they still were able to move the ball reasonably well in that first half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They've reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went into the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. 
So the drive's going to start with Pollard. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky. That play only picked up five yards. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now Prescott. It's caught left side by Cooks. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Now Prescott. Throw right side, take it in by Gallup. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Let's go, man. Let's go. First down, Prescott. That's caught once again by Gallup. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. To throw again on second down, Prescott. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course, you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. On third and one, here's Prescott. And, oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. On second and seven, McCoy got his man complete over the middle. That's more. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 18 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From the 30. Here's first and 10. 
Back to throw. McCoy. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And he's got the hook up to Moore. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. They'll look to throw again. Ertz has it left side. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Second down and eight. On the draw, Connor. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. On third down, McCoy. And that is incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. And this is on target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And that will keep the deficit at 20. So it's an empty possession. And as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. <laughs> and now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon. So apparently, neither guy is immune. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Two sides to every coin. This is the bad side of missing the 58 yarder. Now they start at the 48. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your line and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, You've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. To try again after the sack, Prescott. And that's complete downfield to Cooks. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A gain of 32 that time. Brandon, that was a nice route that time. Lined him up on the right and worked his way all the way across the formation 
one of the toughest routes to cover because you keep waiting for the ball to be thrown and for him to break something off. He goes all the way across the field, right to left, for a big play. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Now Pollard. And a short gain here down to the 22. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Throwing, Prescott. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Looking to throw, Prescott. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. Phoenix, Arizona's the spot. Glad to have you along for the ride. Third quarter action and a second and ten upcoming. Touchdown! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Now for the point after. And that stretches the lead to 27. So the drive there took six plays, and it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded just outside the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here... This one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Now that ground game just continues to struggle to really get any momentum in this ball game, Charles. And I mean, you're at the point here, third quarter, down four scores, probably going to have to put it in the air. Oh, no question about it. So that's your only chance, your only opportunity. But think of the pressure you just put on your offensive line because if you're a pass rusher, you know. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. 
The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. On the draw, Connor. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Here's Matt Hawk now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. So possession goes over here on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Pollard. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And the Cardinals have got it going the other way. And they bring this one back. A scoop and score. A fumble recovery touchdown for Arizona. So hold the phone here, Charles. I'd kind of written them off, but after that touchdown, certainly a long way still to go, but stranger things have happened. Well, when you're going to have big second-half comebacks, plays like that have to be involved. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Here's Prescott. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on to punt for Dallas. Forty-seven yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And the Cards are going to have the football with a first and ten deep in their own territory.
They begin on the ground here with Connor. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now McCoy. He's got the connection to Moore. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Throwing on first down. McCoy over the middle to Smith. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Only needing two yards on second down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's complete to McBride. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he's got Smith here. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Cardinals on third down, two for five to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Back to throw again. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. I think it's safe to say this is a game he's not going to forget anytime soon, <laughs> Charles. Three interceptions. It's rare that we see three interceptions by one team, let alone by an individual. And I think that after the second one, he's probably telling his teammates, any ball that's in the air, it's going to be mine. And that turned out to be true. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 40. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Brought down by Jalen Thompson. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The offense on third down, not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and four. Prescott off play action. He'll buy some time right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. 
Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes. You can read his hands. And you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. To throw again on second down. McCoy. Looking sideline incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's McCoy. That pass complete to Moore. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Moore. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And he's been one of their few bright spots here this afternoon. And as you pointed out, so far he's gotten his. That's not been the issue at all. But the teammates, the other guys, they've been shut down. That's why the defensive guys have to feel pretty good, even though he's over 100 yards. Yeah, he topped 100 with that last catch. And he'll go right back to Moore. Complete again. Call it a gain of a yard. And it'll be fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. So did you suspect the same thing that I did, that they were lining up just to draw them off sides here? 100%. Well, how about that? They were going for it the entire time. Never questioned in his mind about going ahead and getting it, despite where they were on the field. Yeah, I don't know if you heard it in my voice when they snapped the ball. I was like, oh, I almost wasn't ready to call the play. I just kept waiting for the timeout offensively. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there.
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 27 yards there, a first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants this lead to stay right where it is. McCoy's throw complete there to Smith. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. I think we should put a stopwatch on that one. You talk about having all day to throw the football, able to scan the field, find someone open after a long time. Big time credit to the offensive line for protection. That's what we used to call throwing out of the rocking chair. Looking to throw again on second down. McCoy, he'll dump this one off to Connor. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Now a draw play. This is Connor. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And McCoy loses the football. This has been a long drive. You know that defense, they're craving to get off the field. They were able to force it free, but couldn't recover it. Yeah, and on the offensive side of the ledger, they were thinking about how do we punctuate this drive with six, right? Make it an exclamation point. Instead, you got to put a question mark next to this drive now after the fumble, even though they recovered it. Out of the gun now on third down. Touchdown, Cardinals! James Conner from four yards out. And the Cardinals go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside, who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Cowboys are able to recover. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They'll run with Pollard. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. 76 yards rushing for him now to this point. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. 
So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's Pollard again. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Zabin Collins there to make the play defensively. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Now an option play on second down. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And I tell you what, I can't remember a defensive performance as good as this one. They seemingly forced turnover after turnover after turnover every time you turned around. Yeah, you can just keep going with it, can't you? After turnover, after turnover. <laughs> as this game unfolded, they were doing all the dictating, right? They dealt the offense exactly how it was going to go down today. So you saw them deflate with every series, didn't you? Every time they ran onto the field, it was slower and slower to get to the football because they just felt like if we go out there, we're just going to turn it over anyway. So it was really, really a stellar performance.